she has been speaking. So what she is trying to do is refine her speaking. She wants to become a powerful teacher. She wants to develop the introduction and the hook, if you will, that gets you interested and really draws you into her story. So this is part of Pam's journey, become that great motivational speaker with great hooks, great challenges, great storytelling that you feel like you're there. So Pam is going to come and give us her speech. It's called The Cookie Share. Cookie Share. Please welcome Pam Lewis. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests this morning. I'm happy to be here to present my first speech. It is an icebreaker, and as you were told, it's called the cookie sharer. I've chosen three characteristics that I believe exemplify my life and what I am and what I do. I am a cookie sharer, a passer honor, and a lover and protector of God's creation. In college was the place I first learned about cookie sharing. Anthropologists who went to high poverty areas were always amazed that when they gave a child a cookie, the child didn't go in the corner to eat it, but ran outside and said, look, look, I've got a cookie, and proceeded to pass out small crumbs to every hand that was extended. What that child knew is the joy was not in the cookie, but in the sharing. I discovered the joy of sharing when I was six years old. For Christmas that year, I got a three foot tall bride doll dressed in flowing white lace and taffeta. I hated dolls. <laughs> I got over my initial disappointment I had a wonderful idea I would give that bride doll to my friend Janie I could hardly wait for school to go back in session so I could give it to her Janie squealed with delight it was a wonderful day until I got home my mother called Janie's mother and the bride doll came back to my house for years, I got really sad when I would open my closet and see her standing there in the corner because she really belonged with Janie. And I knew even at six years old that every girl, even a bride doll, deserved to live with someone who loved her. As I grew up, cookie sharing spilled over into recycling and repurposing. I'm a lover of anything with a past that can go on to be somebody's future. I'm a passer honor. Today my needs are simple. I rarely shop and I can't imagine having enough stuff that I'd ever have to have a yard sale. But that doesn't mean I don't like gifts. I enjoy every gift you give me twice. As I'm opening it, I'm thinking about what a wonderful friend you are, how thoughtful you are, how much you love me to do this, and I just find that wonderful. Then, after I open it, I get really excited because I'm thinking, who's the perfect person I can re-gift this to? <laughs> you see, God called me to be a river, not a, ra a reservoir. I'm a passer honor. Thirdly, I'm a lover of God's creation and try to be a protector of it. When I was a child, I spent the summers with my maternal grandmother, and she allowed me to be a real wild child. I roamed the fields and the river and the woods with only my trusty dog to protect me from the rattlesnakes and see me safely home. I knew everything that lived there. I really didn't see much distinction between my human friends and my leafy and furry ones. I knew them by name, I know, knew where they lived, what they did, and uh, where they had their young. 
As I grew older, I grew up and got married and had two sons. I raised them in Vermont, surrounded by 1,500 acre farm and 4,000 acres of nature conservancy land beyond that. I taught them that the earth does not belong to us, but it belongs to our Heavenly Father. We are merely stewards of it. And we have a life trust that we will be accountable for on our day of, day of reckoning. In closing, let me share that if you come to my house, which I hope you will, you might want to bring me some flowers from your garden or a small box of tea. I brew the tea newly, but the chairs you will sit in will be 200 years old. I'll take you out to my garden and you will have um, some herbs that I'll put in bags and send with you as you leave. But once you're gone, I'll take that tea that you brought, I'll divide it up into about three or four Ziploc bags, I'll throw in a few of those flowers and I'll pass them out to my neighbors just as soon as I can. Because that's what we folks who are cookie sharers nature lovers and passer honors really do. Thank you. <laughs>